Good evening, CLC. Thank you for joining me this evening. I'm Naomi Fada. So I don't know about you, but if you were in church on Sunday, what a message from my friend Amy Finch about our unwavering yes. And, you know, as I was just pondering her message and the story that she shared about how God led them and directed them, opened doors into what they're doing now, reminded also for myself and also just to encourage you of a passage in John 10. You know, maybe if you've been in Christian circles for a while, you heard about people saying, well, God directed me or God um, led me to do this or whatever it is. But that might sound a little confusing to you because how does God direct us or guide us or how do we even know that it's God speaking to us? And John 10 has something to say about this. So I wanted to read that for a minute. Um, I'm just going to start in verse 1 and read a couple of verses. So this chapter is about Jesus as the good shepherd, using the analogy of Jesus being the shepherd for the sheep, which we are, we are his sheep. This is, I tell you the truth. Anyone who sneaks over the wall of the sheepfold rather than going through the gate must surely be a thief or a robber. But the one who enters through the gate is a shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep recognize his voice and come to him. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. After he has gathered his own flock, he walks ahead of them, and they follow him because they know his voice. They won't follow the voice of a stranger. They will run from him because they don't know his voice. And... The part that I love so much about this passage is that reminder that the sheep know his voice, that we will become familiar with him, with God as our father and Jesus as our shepherd, that we know his voice. We know the prompting of the Holy Spirit. And maybe that isn't something that we can always say, teach you, because it is true that you have to develop that relationship with the Lord himself and really spend time with him. And one of the best ways to spend time with him is reading his word because there's so much truth in it. It is his truth to us and it will guide us in all truth. But we have the person of the Holy Spirit and as we're reading and as he shapes us and transforms our character, we begin to get that, that sense in, in our spirit, sometimes in a more audible sense through something that other people are telling us, but also just through this nudge within ourselves and begin to sense that God is telling us to, to do something or moving us forward. But what is so such a word picture for me is that thought of like knowing and recognizing his voice you think of you pick up the phone and maybe it's a loved one and you immediately know who it is because you know his voice and i just want to encourage you to take that time to continue to dig deep in your relationship with god and ask him, I mean, pray, ask him that he would continue to cultivate within you um, the ears to hear his voice, to hear his direction, to recognize the things that he has for you. And you know, these um, could be little or smaller things we could say in our everyday life because, um, you know, maybe it's that he's um, directing you to reach out to a friend, to send a card in a mail, to send a text message. Um, sometimes he prompts us to go a different way and, and we avoid a car accident. There's so many ways in which God, as our Father, protects us. I mean, that's what a good shepherd 
does for the sheep. He protects them from the world, but also guides them and directs them to pasture, to um, still waters. You know, I think also the familiar psalm, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He restores my soul. And these are all elements of what, you know, God wants to do for us as our shepherd, as we hear his voice and follow him. So this week, um, I feel like this was a short devotional that hopefully has a little bit of clarity for you. But this week, just meditate on that, you know, seek God about like, what is it um, that you're trying to do in me, God? How can I hear you and cultivate this, um, these ears to hear you and to recognize your voice when you're guiding me and directing me? Um, to do something. So I just pray that that's a blessing to you and that you have an amazing week to come. Be sure to check us out in person at 20 West Main Street in Catskill, meeting at 1030 on Sunday mornings. We'd love to see you there.